some prominent personalities from the southeastern Nigeria under the ages of Igbo Elders Consultative Forum have threatened to sanction any Igbo politician who accepts to be running mates to anyone not from the region. Igbo Elders said their geopolitical zone must produce the next president of Nigeria. There is an ongoing political tussle over which region should produce the next president of Nigeria in 2023, when Muhammad Buhari, a northerner, will be leaving office. No southeasterner has been president of Nigeria since the fourth dispensation began in 1999. The chairman of the forum and former governor of Anambra State, Chief Chukwemeka Ezife, said the region would not accept anything other than to produce the next president of the country. According to him, if that does not happen, Igbo people will quit the country. Really? You want to quit? Why do you want to quit? So is it the presidency? I don't know why do you want to get the presidency. Is it to change the face of the country? Because I don't even want to go there. So it is now you want to. It is when they don't give you. That is to tell you that you don't even have a good cause. Because instead of you to join the BR France, to join the IPOP members, you say you cannot join them. But if you can, but at the end of the day, if we get the presidency, and that is why you see that a lot of people from, from the school of thought of a uh, IPOP or Biafra, you want to uh, call it, they don't believe that even if Igbo presidency comes up, that it is going to change the face of the country. It is not all about a. Uh, yeah, somebody becomes this somebody becomes that because if you want to look it from that angle we have a northern army that is there now you begin to ask yourself what's good as the people benefited even for him to be there any the worst things happening in this country that this country is known for 80 percent is coming from that angle so of what use the people are not even getting a, a good life no good standard of living. So at least that is even number one and and security. So what is the guarantee? Because me, I'm always asking that. What is the guarantee that? Is it okay because uh, an Awusa person is there or whether Fulani or whatever, a Northerner is there. So that will give them the, or uh, that should be my own way of enjoying poverty. Because a Northerner is there and I'm from the North, I should not be enjoying insecurity. I should be going through with all this nonsense happening. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be bothered. It's not. It doesn't matter. My salary will not be paid as at when due. Things in the market have gone overboard, and I don't have money to to buy them. Just because somebody is from the north, I'm from the north. Then that settles this. I shouldn't be bothered. I shouldn't think anything. Does that make sense? Because now, and I've said it and I'll continue to say it for as many who have not heard me, for as many who care to listen. The Igbo presidency, we, they are going, the way they are going about this Igbo presidency, they will end up choosing a wrong person just to fulfill all righteousness. They are not even talking about who are we going to present. Because this idea of uh, we have somebody, we have somebody, because the ones that have been parading themselves, the Igbos that have been parading themselves that want to be president that are showing interest. Is it a Ozu Oju Zokalu? You're that one. Or is it a Rochas? Or is it a Pius Anim? Then tell me. There's one particular person who happens to be Peter Obi. He's cut across board from a very, very deep thinking from a very very uh, uh, non biased angle people are always people always mention that man but they will tell you that there is no way that man can get it because the way pdp is going the way apc is uh, exactly pdp because it's in pdp is they are not going to it's not likely they're going to present him at least that is the only person people have been talking about maybe some other people who are not uh, who are not known but at least as far as we are concerned as a politician we know we have a lot a lot of People who are up and doing, who have what it takes, even in Igbo land. And again, one funny thing, that even in the north we are talking about, in all the geo, uh, cis geopolitical zones, there are good people, good, who are who are enlightened, who, who are eligible. Unfortunately, they will not allow them to get there. So because this, uh, this Igbo presidency, Igbo presidency, who are you going to present? 
or you are still keeping it in cooler you are still waiting you are still looking checking the atmosphere because if you are not going to be bringing any uh, uh, credible person it is going to be from fry pan to fire that is what is going to go like if you want to join ipop you join ipop so don't say because of this so now because if you have Igbo presidency with all these people that are parading themselves we are going nowhere is this all about oh let us just fulfill our righteousness just to have an evil person, just as we have another nana that is not is of no use to anybody. It's only useful to the psychophants and those is cronies. Those are the people that say Buari is useful to. It's not even useful to the majority of the people in the north. It's of no use to them. Only is of use for to the politicians who are psychophants and getting whatever they want to get. Why not join IPOP now if you know that is what is going to how it's going to end? Because at the end of the day, people will see complaint. Because this issue of IPOP or Biafra we are talking about is not only about uh, we just want to get the presidency because it makes no sense. Because Buari is a northerner is there. Like I said, it's not it's of no use to anybody. This Igbo presidency they are clamoring for, they are going to leave the substance and begin to chase shadows because at the end of the day just to fulfill our righteousness anybody any nonsense person can just we we'll still enter there we we'll still be complaining because all of them all these politicians eh majority of them they don't have the good of the people at heart the interest of the people is not is not their concern so if you want to join that pub now you better join them than uh, giving all this kind of threats uh, if you, this one does not do this and this one does not do this and that to me it does not make sense it does not make sense can you imagine? According to Ezefe, if that does not happen, Igbo people will quit the country. He said, emboldened by the increasing demand and support by credible and patriotic Nigerians for power to shift to the south in 2023. The Igbo Elders Forum hereby encourages visionary, credible and creative presidential materials of southeast zone to declare their intention for presidency and pursue it with every sense of seriousness, vigor, and commitment. We are very serious about this directive. Do not mind those unserious bootlickers who are any who are angling to be running mates to candidates from other parts of the country. As the Eagles will not take it lightly with any of our sons or daughters who accept to be running mates to any person outside the Southeast Zone in 2023. It is either we are allowed to produce the president of this country in 2023 to change the appalling narrative of continued decay, poverty, insecurity, poor governance, corruption, and maladministration in Nigeria or out of it. No half measure as serious sanctions will be visited to any Igbo man or woman that sabotages this noble and patriotic decision of our people to provide the Nigeria a credible, visionary, and creative president. Legally, morally, and strategically, it is the turn of the Southeast to produce the next president of the country as the other zones have been given the opportunity to serve this country in that capacity. According to Ezefe, apart from the need for equity, justice, and fairness, it is also to change the narrative of Nigeria. Some other Igbo elders Present at the briefing were the former ministers of education, Professor S. C. Madubike, Secretary General of our Nazendigbo FCT chapter, Dr. Nkoye Kinsley, His Royal Majesty Igwe Ibe Unwusu.